Welcome to a poker vlog with a bit of difference. Poker mm -hmm. with kids. I'm going to go to poker all by myself. And me. Yes. Daddy. Pick up me. Pick up me. Daddy. Can you see? Daddy. 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 <laughs> Here's a poker vlog with a bit of a difference. Me. Poker with kids. Everybody, welcome to vlog number 36, I guess, of Poker With Kids. Uh, this time, got another package in the mail, this time from pokershop.com.au. Let's uh, get straight into it and uh, see what we've got. The main thing I was actually after was uh, some uh, masks that they put out um, for hopefully when live poker Return to just slowly starting to come back in Australia. We've got uh, some pub poker, uh, very limited at present uh, underway. But in particular, there's a big APT series that uh, they had cancelled an earlier one playing for the Gold Coast. Uh, APT have now set it one up for early October at Eaton Hill in Brisbane. A uh, few events I'd definitely like to play if uh, assuming the series goes ahead. Um, with things the way they are at the moment, however, it might almost be a Queensland only series, but we'll see how see how things go over the next uh, next few months or so. Anyway, in here we have four Pokemon. Marks. Let's get one out. Give it a try on. Also have a couple other things in the bag. It's a pretty big bag for just four small Pokemon masks. But We'll see, so we have our poker masks. So you got your poker up logo on the side, poker just dealer which matches the shirt I recently got from there as well. So that will uh, hopefully keep things uh, safe, secure, and virus free while. Uh, we get back to some live poker. However, masks aside, also in the package, we have this, which is part of a uh, bit of a plan that I've had over a while. I'm slowly starting to get things together for it. This is to actually build my own poker table. The uh, plan I've actually got at the moment, done a few little uh, a few little drawings and the like. I'm actually looking at making a folding table with uh, two halves. Given that I don't really have um, too many tools, I want to try and keep the design simple. So I'm actually looking at having uh, essentially an octagonal end with uh, straight corners, something along the lines of this with the, with the chopped off edges on the corner rather than a round edge. Um, it would just be easy, you can just get a uh, plain saw and chop it off rather than worrying about, you know, jigsaws and all these sort of extra tool requirements that basically I don't have. I'm trying to do it as a, a relatively unskilled labourer. But I've got sheets of plywood. I've realised that it's actually the typical poker table legs that you get on uh, your normal table that you see at, you know, pop poker tournaments, that type of thing, the folding legs. Actually, really give it the source in Australia. There's not, um, I couldn't actually find anywhere that sold them separately uh, as it was. So I found an alternative with that. I've got um, basically removable, removable and adjustable legs from Ikea, um, which I'm going to screw in. You basically just unscrew them and then it becomes a, a flat base for the table. Uh, I've got the foam for the underlay of the table. And, unfortunately I actually wanted purple, but that was sold out. However, we have some pretty fancy looking. A little two-tone, two-tone bronze pattern. And okay, they sort of the dark and the light one with obviously the speed fill with the uh, pretty 
experience for the cards and you've got the, uh, the suits as is standard. So um, I'll put that fused. The other things I then need to get are the, um, maybe a little bit more plywood for the rail and obviously the, the foam and the covering for the rail and hopefully one day I'll actually build my own pocket table. The other thing is that I've also got with this are bags of sample chips. Um, Poke Shops seem to do things a little bit differently from um, other places. Uh, for example, where I, I usually get my poker chips at Jack's, they give you the an entire set of whatever type of, or you can purchase an entire set of whatever type of chips you want. Um, I probably feel like if you've seen his stuff on his channel, uh, obviously he does, he gets sets from uh, all over the place and uh, those. And uh, compared to what we've got here, basically they've put in one of everything they've got in their collection. So rather than having a sample set of a particular type, you get, for example, a sample of their Tournament Pro Series, another one of their Star Tournament Chips, their National Poker Series Chips, box standard dice chips, a, uh, this one's a Texas Holden Poker, one of their nice ceramic Australian series. These aren't, I actually like these ones a lot, especially like the, um, the face of it. It's not quite a smooth texture, but it looks, feels like a very nice chip. We've got the Mint, which is actually a set that I, uh, a small set that I've actually got um, as well. Might get that out and show you that one day. We've got these ones, Pro Poker. Not bad. This is a uh, take on the EPT Poker Stars type, type one. This is the slightly lower, lower quality Aussie currency set. So you've got the the fancy ceramic, the plain old uh, plastic one. Obviously this one's much nicer and it's reflected in the price as well. But um, definitely the big quality chip, but these are still very, very usable. And I do have a, a set somewhat similar to this one, a little bit different. This is actually uh, a set I got from Jack's a while ago that's uh, still in, in the mother-in-law's garage in Melbourne, um, which is kind of somewhere in the middle of these two. Not, not quite the ceramic, it's the... Uh, it is the plastic or the china clays, whatever they whatever they want to call them, but um, essentially a plastic chip. Um, but I think it looks probably a little bit better. And that's the the face is a bit bigger rather than having the too much on the outside. So I think it actually looks a little bit better than these ones. Uh, we also have this one, the this one standard Las Vegas. Plain stripey one, Monte Carlo. We've got the, uh, I know they use these, uh, I think it's the, the James Bond type. Um, can't think of the actual name of it, uh, but they use these ones um, sometimes for some of the alternative sets in the Australian Poker Tour. Another different tournament poker set. Uh, looks a little bit like, um, Loosely based on the World Series type. We've also got a another other one, the Le Royal and the Royal. So have a set of those. Actually, got two sets. Um, don't have something exactly the same chips in terms of denomination. But I'll have a look. See what we've got. Looks like they might be. Quite a number of them are anyway. And in fact, they are all identical, so we have two of, for example, two of 25,000 from that set. Um, not a problem, but good to see what Poker Shop have on offer. Some of those chips, um, at least at first sight, especially those uh, that Australian currency one, the ceramic, look very, very nice. Um, as well as aren't too bad. 
This Royal one's not too bad, although the one thing I don't like about this chip is that it's uh, the standard base color is black for all the chips, and it's really just the edging that uh, is the difference for, for, the, for the colors. So, I mean, there's enough to tell that, okay, that's clearly a yellow and black chip for the 100, but all the chips have black as the base color, which is okay. Um, this one, the Casino Royale James Bond style chips aren't too bad. Like I said, they use them for the ABT. Uh, on occasions, they're pretty good. Uh, I've also used the, the little Royal ones in some, uh, some home games around the place. They're not too bad. I actually don't mind this one that's sort of, this is modeled on the, looks like it's modeled on the, the World Series set. And the EPT one, I've seen better, better versions of it, but I don't mind the actual layout with the, um, that sort of the, the spade with the denomination on top. So not a bad, not a bad layout. I'm not sure that actually, I think I've seen better ones where this has actually got a bit of a, bit of an indent to the, uh, the sticker in the middle. Um, but yeah, generally happy with the purchase and one day I'll get around to, uh, putting that poker table together and that'll be, uh, a vlog for sometime down the track. But yeah, so pretty much I bought this mask with your money. The uh poker just deal that I did the try on with. Also have the plain spade card kind of thing too well and that one has King's cards on the side. And no one cares what you folded. So. Four mice, good rotation. Um, hopefully keep me virus free. And uh, back to live tables in reasonably short order. So uh, thanks for watching the video. And uh, hopefully we'll be back soon with uh, maybe some actual poker, co poker content. Might have a look at some um, little bit of online stuff I've been playing. But uh, thanks for watching. Hope to see you again soon.